Hello from the kitchen folks. Today I'm going to be making chocolate, pecan and sultana scones. So I'm going to begin by weighing out 525 grams of self-raising flour. Now I'm going to add two teaspoonfuls of baking powder. So I'm going to add into my flour a dessert spoon of salt, pretty much like that. There we go. So this is the flour and the salt and the baking powder. I'm now going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And that gets stirred in also. Next goes 130 grams of baking margarine. So the margarine goes into the bowl with the dry ingredients. And then initially I'm just going to stir this around a little bit, mix it together with a wooden spoon before getting my hands in there. Now the dirty bit, mixing it all together. So this is where you get your hands all messy. But what this will make is some fine crumbs. So you want to work all the margarine into the flour and the dry mixture until you can't really find any lumps of margarine left. You're supposed to use butter, but I find it works just as well with this. I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar into the mix. And then I'm just going to stir that in so it's all mixed nicely. I've now got 260 ml of milk. I'm going to add to the milk two teaspoonfuls of almond extract. Just going to stir that in. I'm now going to very strangely add a couple of drops of lemon juice into the milk which makes it curdle slightly and that works well in a scone recipe. Now it's time for the fun ingredients sultanas, pecans, chocolate. I'm going to add the sultanas into the milk, stir it all up. I need to weigh out 50 grams of pecan nuts. This is a 100 gram chocolate bar, so I know that I just need half of it. Because it's very important to quality control what you're using. Mm. That's good. So the chocolate and the pecans just want cutting down. into the milk also. Now I'm going to stir all that together. So I'm just making a well in the middle of my dry mixture now and then this needs to be poured in and stirred in very very quickly. So now it's all began to form a stiff dough, I'm going to use a wooden spoon which is a bit sturdier than the teaspoon to finish mixing it together. This should make some pretty decent scones. And you can see how well it's all sticking together.
This has got a really nice constituency. This is going to make some good scones. I've now got two baking sheets which I've put greaseproof paper on and I've rubbed it down with a bit of margarine as well also. So this is my silicon um, rolling mat. It's what I use for pastries and so forth and I'm just adding a bit of flour to it just to spread out like this. And then I'm simply going to take a ball of the dough, rub it in my hands, into the flour, around like that. And that's one scone. I'm not using pastry cutters, not doing any of that stuff. You don't need to. Do it by intuition. Confidence. So here are my scones before I put them into the oven. Uh, it turned out I only needed one baking tray. So I'm just going to crack an egg into there. Just give it a good mix around. And then I'm just going to paint each one so it gives it a nice glazed finish. I like a shiny scone. Okay, these bad boys are now going in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. Time to play the waiting game. And just while we're waiting for them to cook, I'd like to point out that this is a paper cone, which is why I'm making scones. This isn't a con, and I'm not making scones. So it's been 10 minutes and they've risen nicely. I'm wondering whether they're just about done, actually. Playing the waiting game is the worst bit. Two minutes left. Here goes. Just look at those beauties. You can really smell the almond as well. Pretty pleased. So just a close up. My babies. Now there's another worse bit. And that's waiting for them to cool a little bit before I can eat one. Right, it's time to sample the goods. Okay. And that. Oh, look at the gooey chocolate as well. Just there. So I'm going to butter my scone. Lovely thick butteriness. Right, here goes. That is incredible. So chocolatey. Almond. Just had a bit of pecan. Oh, that's a flavour bomb. That is absolutely fantastic. Try them for yourself. Delicious. See you later, kids. The film that you've just watched is a Moss Home and Garden production. You can find more by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. I'd just like to say thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel and for watching my films. It really is very much appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to receive future updates about the home and garden films which I upload. You can find my YouTube channel by going to www.mosshomeandgarden.co.uk. Please click on the red subscribe button. When you've done that, a little bell will appear. If you press that also, then you'll get future updates about the films which I upload. If you like my films, if you like my style of filming, then you might also like my travel channel, which you will find by going to youtube.com forward slash Stuart Moss or typing www.mosstravel.tv. Again, if you could subscribe to that channel, it would be hugely appreciated. If you'd like to get Moss Home and Garden updates on Facebook, then please open Facebook and do a search for Moss Home and Garden and you will find the page. If you like the page, then you will get future updates on there. 
and if you'd like to connect on Instagram for home, garden and travel photography as well as some stories then my username is stewmoss, S-T-U-M-O-S-S. -S. If you'd like to connect on Twitter then my username is at Stuart Moss. And if you'd like to contact me about film usage or any other issue, please just email me on stewmosshomegarden at gmail.com. Once again, thank you very much for supporting my channel, for watching my films. I do appreciate it. I'd just like you all to have a great day.